from a girlfriend who's the one ashamed of her boyfriend's body. Hey doctors, I'm ashamed of my boyfriend's beer belly. I started him on a strict diet and crunches, but the pudge still remains. Is there anything we could do for a quick fix? Justin's not alone. He's here with his girlfriend, Janine. Thanks for being here. <laughs> and, and first and foremost, to both of you, there's no such thing as a quick fix. The only way to truly fix a beer belly is over time improving diet and being active. Having said that, we all want to maybe go out on a date, go to dinner, and look your best on certain occasions. Well, yeah, you know, sure. Women have been trying to tame their bellies and their bodies for years. Oh yeah, there you go. Through a lot of, that's big turtle. Today, turtle. today, women have Spanx. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a suggestion, the male version of Spanx. The, it's called the Ecumen Core Precision Undershirt. So you wear this under under your shirt. Do you it's see the way, the way that yeah. this is designed, Jim? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to trim you. It's supposed to support your core, it helps your posture, and should make you sh shrink several inches. Maybe for that special evening? Yeah. Well, sure, yeah. And but then at the end of the evening, you got to take this thing off. That's the same thing with women. It's like, you know, yeah. so you got to well, go back and exercise the diet. Yeah, exactly. But, um, but you know, if you've got to go for an interview mm -hmm. or something and you want to look nice, I mean, that may be an answer, just like it is for women. You so, go. you know, it's a good option. But you still got to exercise. Mm -hmm. So are you are you uh, are you wearing this right now? Actually, yes, I am. How does it feel? Have you noticed a difference? Feels good. Tight? It's really really tight though. But make sure you're sitting up straight. Can you breathe? I'm sitting up straight. I can breathe in it. Um, after I've worn it for a couple hours, I kind of know what women go through. Does it make you sweat? That's a big thing. Does it make you sweat? No, I don't sweat at all. It's very breathable. breathable. It's comfortable. You can move around in it. Uh, it's just like wearing a rash guard when you're surfing. You know, you kind of move around and it's well, flexible. Can you stand okay. up for us? pretty flat. So can you imagine, Uncle, to see how much uh, he's lost from his waist, mm -hmm. at least temporarily, underneath that girdle? <laughs> Forty and a half, so two and a half inches off. There you go. There you go. Okay. I love it. And I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison without the, with, without the girdle. So go ahead and stand there. Okay. And now let's compare side-by-side. -side. Yeah. So obviously, as a man, this isn't something you're going to want to wear every day. The, the other thing is, when you wear these, it does support your core. And over time, you don't want to become dependent on something right. else. You want to have strong core muscles. And the only way you're going to get to that point naturally is still work on your abs. But sit-ups, do cardio, mm -hmm. eat right. But you know what's cool? This is an inspiration to him. He just saw the difference right. before <laughs> and after. Maybe he'll say, well, I don't want to wear this the rest of my life. I like the way I look with what this does for him. Hopefully it'll stimulate it. Do it. Do it on his, on his own, right? Of course. Right. Yeah. Well, again, diet and exercise changes will help you get the abs you want. That's what's most important. But if you watching at home want more information on what we call the Ecumen, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. Our next problem comes from two sisters. They're so ashamed they avoid going out in public wearing certain types of clothing, and it may be an issue you're facing as well. 